Well, the boys are back in the stable. Got the R1 back, she looks great. Got everything I need to get done to her done. Um, she had to get a brand new wheel speed sensor. So ended up replacing this particular uh, wire module in here. And uh, once that was done, the check engine light went off. Got the pipe on her, all the sliders are all done. Everything basically got the tech spec on there. The R1M, boy, I had a couple of friends come over and take a look at this and they're like, dude, that is one of the sexiest bikes I've ever seen, all carbon. It doesn't, it only has two miles on it. I drove it two miles, like guys, because it's kind of like really super cold and windy. But I took it out just to see what it feels like. Oh my gosh, that bike is so powerful and fast. Um, the KRT, looking great. You call it, uh, everything is on it. Like I said, I, I've got the cowl on there, sliders are on there, all of the um, tech spec is on there. Was able to get everything um, pretty much situated on this bike. So this bike is done. Uh, and I got the AT2 uh, pipe on there. And you guys know the, the R7 is the R7. It just runs like a freaking beast. Love this bike to death. Um, it's more of my wheelie get around town bike. But the R7 is just uh, sexy. So got a Yamaha Kawasaki in the house. Two R1s, one an M. And the other one is the limited edition. 60th GP, my number seven on there, my race number. But uh, yeah, the boys are in the stable. Everything looks great. Uh, if you guys ever want to come over and check them out, come ride with me.